The time is uh, 7 o'clock. Thank you for joining us on the National News and Fresh 105.9 FM Ibadan. I am Olufemi Oluajobi. First, the headlines. Vice President Yemi Oshimbado takes over as President Mohamed Dubaru returns to London for medical follow-up. BBOG calls for immediate rehabilitation of 82 freed Chibok girls. Kogi State doctors threaten re- resignation of unpaid salaries and in business, the CBN introduced new 100 Naira bank charge on ATM. In sport, Kafa points Amaju Pinik as Ed Media Committee. Stay tuned for the details of this and more. President Mohamed Dubari has returned to London for follow-up consultation with his doctors. The President's Special Advice on Media, Femi Additional, released a statement that the President delayed his journey until Sunday evening so he could meet with the 82 Chibo girls released on Saturday, adding that the length of stay would only be determined by his London doctors. Meanwhile, Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo is to function normally under his office during the President's absence. A co-convener of the Big Bring Back Our Girls group, Buki Shonibare, said rehabilitation and reintegration of the girls should be the major priority of the federal government. Okay, so now we need to now begin to talk about not just the verification, authentication and reunification, which when we look at what is currently happening in terms of the process, even the authentication has not been done, they're still going to take them to Chibok, take, take pictures of them to Chibok for their identities to be verified by their parents. I think that should have actually, that turnaround time should have actually been closed. We shouldn't be talking about that like almost three days since that they, they return. And then they now have the reunification. But then we also now begin to we need to begin to talk about their reintegration, their, their re-socialization, their rehabilitation. Those three are, are now really important because it's one thing for them to come back. It's another thing for us to ensure that there is already a system in place that they plug into immediately and we don't have to wait for so long. And- Buki Shonibare also berate those who were condemning the swap of militants for the release of 82 girls saying our state prisoner swap says a lot about how much importance the government places on its citizens. A swap is not new. I mean, in, in situations like this, is, is what we expect, is what, what happens. When we look at what the U.S. government did, they've actually swapped, you know, five prisoners for one soldier. Israel has done the same thing. Palestine has done the same thing. When we put ourselves in the shoes of the parents who have been waiting for their children to come back, we would realize that no sacrifice, nothing is too much to have these girls come back. And this is also upon the backdrop that they've stayed for three years that long. And also seeing the report that is coming out and this event of what Boko Haram is using young girls to do. We don't want our girls to stay that long. I, I mean, look at some of the pictures that came out yesterday. The images that came out. Some of the girls, one of them had an amputated limb. Another one is on wheelchair. The longer they stay, the more difficult it is. So, prisoner swap, it's not new. It's, it's something that is, that is good. It explains the premium that a nation places on its citizens. Meanwhile, special advice on media and publicity to President Mohamed Dubari Femi Adeshino has assured that due process will be taken in rehabilitating the girls. Meanwhile, the former chairman of Nigeria Bar Association, Mina Chapter, Taidi Jonathan, has lauded the release of the 82 Chibo girls as a demonstration of the president's commitment to the welfare of all Nigerians. In a statement made today, Tahidi said that the federal government and its partners have the capacity to release the remaining girls. 
Tahidi, however, urged Nigerians to seek Gao's intervention on the challenges facing the nation while supporting the government in its efforts to provide security for every citizen. About 2,100 women in Kano State, Northwest Nigeria, have been empowered in various skills and that the Future Assured Foundation, headed by the wife of the Nigerian president, Mrs. Aisha Buhari. In addition to the skills, the women were trained in areas such as health, education and several trades which the organization believes will help them solve their immediate financial problems, among others. Mrs. Buhari, in her speech, urged the beneficiaries to use the knowledge acquired to impact their family members and community. I believe that these skills you have learned will be transferred to your children, your sisters, your friends, and even your neighbors directly or indirectly by subsidizing your charges to them. I wish therefore to congratulate you on all these achievements. I hope that will translate to a better, more productive and fruitful lives. Meanwhile, the wife of the Kano State Governor, Mrs. Afasat Ganduje, who pleaded loyalty to the Buhari led administration, said women in Kano are happy with the support and empowerment they have received from the First Lady in the last two years. The Italian government has promised improved collaboration with Nigeria in the fight against trafficking in persons. The President of Italy's lower parliament, Laura Baldrini, made the pledge during a visit to Benin City, the Edo State capital, to assess the efforts of the Edo State government and that of the National Agency for Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, in the fight against trafficking. The Edo State Governor, Godwin Obaseki, in his speech, unveiled his plan for skills acquisition and job creation for victims. So some of the things you have seen today are consequences of that development. And uh, we are determined to get back on the path of development. We are very, very clear as to what our issues are, what our problems are, and what the solutions should be. Audrinia therefore stressed the need for both countries to work together in providing support for NAPTIP and other agencies tackling the menace of illegal act. Italy and Nigeria have to increase cooperation at all levels in order to, you know, provide enough resources for NAPTIP and other centers to support, you know, the, the, the girls who are sent back from Europe or from Italy to rebuild their lives. I also think that we have to intervene before that. We have to give the girls the chance to have a decent job. And in order to do so, we have to support the efforts of the government of Benin, who is trying to give an alternative. Moving on, the Katsina state government has promised to introduce a well-funded free education scheme to people living with disabilities studying in tertiary institutions. The special advisor to the governor, Mino Masari, on people living with disabilities, the Montari Sani said the government already offers free education to people with special needs in primary and secondary schools. Sani assured that the Governor Masari places special consideration on the welfare of physically challenged persons and would motivate them to attain their full potentials in life. You've been listening to the national news and fresh 105 per 9 FM but on still to come. Kogi State doctors threaten resignation of our unpaid salaries. And in business, CBN introduces new Android Nera bank charges on ATM. And in sports, Kafa Point, Amaju Pinnick as the head media committee. Stay with Fresh 105.9 FM, it's the national news. Welcome back to the concluding part of the national news, reaching you from Fresh 105.9 FM, Ibadan. Remember, you can be part of the Fresh FM online community by downloading the Fresh FM Nigeria app to send us eyewitness reports using the iReport feature on the application. Simply go to Google Play Store or App Store to download the application which gives you an interactive media experience so through Radio Reporter feature, Notification feature and Flashball feature. With these features, it can be a radio reporter by sending pictures, audio, text and video straight from your phone or tablet to our newsroom. 
Fresh FM Nigeria app also allows you to receive information about latest news programs, competitions directly from Fresh FM Ibadan. Over 80% of doctors in the employment of the Kogi state government are threatened to resign due to non-payment of their salaries. This was revealed in a statement issued today by the acting chairman of the Nigeria Medical Association, Kogi State Chapter, Mr. Go Dr. Godwin Tijani, who called on stakeholders to appeal to the state government to pay the doctor's salaries rather than constantly threatening them as they are demanding for the payment of their salaries and the reinstatement of their 2015 colleagues. In business, the Central Bank of Nigeria has introduced a 100 Naira monthly maintenance fee for a Naira-dominated debit card in the country. There is also a 50 Naira charge for other months, whether the card is used or not. Director of Financial Policy and Regulation Department, CBN, Kevin Amogo, said the Apex Bank is reviewing the existing guide to bank charges, which came into effect in 2013. The new charge is separate from the existing 65 Naira charge after the third withdrawal within the same month. In our talking sports, President of the Nigeria Football Federation, Amar Jupinik, has been appointed by the Confederation of African Football, CAF, as president of the two high-profile committees of the body. Mr. Pinik will oversee the African Cup of Nations Committee, which will see him in charge of organization of all Nations Cup tournaments. Pinik also holds the leadership button of the media committee of the Continental Football Body. Before we hear the national news, here is the recap of the main stories. Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo is taking over as President Buhari returns to London for medical follow-up. BBOG has called for immediate rehabilitation of 82 freed Chibok girls as Kogi State Governor. Doctors have threatened a resignation over unpaid salaries. In business, the CBN has introduced a new 100 Naira bank charges on ATM and in sports, CAF has appointed Amadou Pinik as the head media committee. But that's the package for the national news on Fresh 105.9 FM Ibala. The news was packaged by Victoria David and edited by Samson Akindili. I am Olufemi Oluwajobi, thanking you for joining us. Good evening. <laughs>